Today I'm gonna to show you a lower body resistance band workout. This is a workout you can do at home and I want you to not skip a beat so that way if you are tied up and you can't get home from, or to the gym, you know, you can get a great workout at your house. You know, I'm a gym rat by nature so I want you to feel just as comfortable at home also. So in this workout we're gonna be hitting our quads, hamstrings, calves, abs, obliques, and um, my name is Brent Casmer. I've been doing this for around 17 plus years and just want to give you a lot of the creativity that I come with on the road. You know, so that way when, I, when I'm on vacation or when I'm out and about and I need to get a workout in and I can't get to the gym, you know, this is what I do. So I'm going to start off with a single legged leg press. Um, I'm going to show you a couple ways to hook this on your foot. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay down. You're gonna put the band underneath your body to help hold the resistance. I have, I'm working out barefoot, so you can either go put your foot in the handle, or if you feel like it's gonna slip off, all you do is take the actual rubber band and put it through the handle, and it turns it into a slip knot, so that way it cinches tight on your foot, okay? So that's if you're wearing shoes. So. We're just gonna hold this resistance nice and tight. And we're just gonna do a leg press, single leg. So driving through the heel. Same thing, what you wanna do also, if you wanna double this up to make it twice as hard, you can hold these bands all on one leg. And we're just doubling it up and making it nice and difficult. See good control. Here's my dog, what's up Max? Out. Your bed. So you would do 15 reps. So we got about a 45 degree angle as if you would have the leg press. Driving it straight out, bringing it back, good control, good squeeze at the top. Okay? So you'll do 15 reps there and then you'll just literally switch your feet around. Alright? So you would just take this, putting it on this foot now, like you saw to increase the pressure we would just do one one leg and you want to keep that 45 degree angle driving through your heel just like you would on the leg press okay so 15 reps good control we're popping up and we're going to go to a single legged leg curl. So I brought this bar stool over just in case I would need it. Finding a tree or a stump or a post or a fence post. And you're going to hook this around. And just like I was showing you before, you're going to take this handle, go through this just like that. And then you're going to put your heel in the actual handle itself, okay? So if you can, you wanna put your toes over top of the actual band, and you're using this chair just for some support. So here, curling it up, single-legged leg curl. And this is a standing single-legged leg curl. Obviously, you can do a lying one as well. And as you can see, you can challenge yourself. I mean, just to give you an idea, on the machine, I'll, I'll single leg leg curl right around like 75 pounds. And right now I'm struggling, getting that 15 reps in. And then you would just switch legs. So you just would put it around the other heel as well. All right, the next one's a side bend. So what you'll do is you'll take that both of those handles off again. You're just gonna walk out, nice wide stance, and you're just gonna reach towards the opposite side. Reaching over, crunching your oblique on this side, the side away from the band. Reaching straight out, so you're not reaching down, you're not going down with it, you're reaching straight across, crunching that oblique. Try not to twist. 
You'll do 15, then switch to the other arm, then do the 15 to the other side. All right. So that's our first circuit. So first circuit being the single-legged leg press, the single-legged hamstring curl, and then this banded side bend, the, the resistant band side bend. Okay, now we're gonna go into a split squat. So I'm gonna take this out here again. So follow me. So two ways to do this. First way, <clears throat> you're gonna put your ball of your feet up on, you want to elevate it. So for instance, I have a bar stool. If you had an actual chair, you can put it up on the chair. So the height, it's not that it doesn't matter. I mean, you don't want it higher than your hip, but if you had a chair, obviously that's what I would use as a chair. But since I got the bar stool, I'm just gonna use the bottom post. You want your back foot up. It's a Bulgarian split squat. So make sure your back's nice and tall and you're driving through the heel of this foot. Very little pressure in this leg, okay? So if you wanted to add resistance to it, you would just take this band, put it up over your shoulders, put your foot up on that, stay nice and tall, pushing through the heel. Now you just added resistance. If you want it more, you can hold it up. So the farther you get away from those bands, obviously the harder it is. So you would do 15, then you would switch legs and do 15 on the other leg. The next exercise is a pull through. This is one of my favorites. So we're coming over here, looping this through, grabbing the handles. You're gonna step through with the handles. It's almost like a kettlebell swing. I think that's what's actually replacing is kettlebell swing. You're gonna walk forward, keeping your elbows stiff, okay? So the biggest thing is elbows are stiff. You're just driving through your hamstrings and glutes. This definitely looks funny, but a very effective exercise. Boom, squeezing your butt, hamstrings. <clears throat> squeeze, squeeze. It's a great glute hamstring exercise, especially if you're learning how to kettlebell swing or learning how to stiff leg a deadlift. It's a great one to help you with that because it forces you to do the right motion. All right, <coughs> excuse me, the last one in this circuit is a pala press with a twist. What the heck is that? My wife asked me that when she saw it on the paperwork too. So a pala press is you'll walk out, bands nice and tight. This is a great one to do on the cable. Um, this is one I do with clients that have scoliosis really bad and they can't do sit-ups. Any torquing on the spine's not so good but it helps them to get very good core. So you're standing here, wide stance, and what you wanna do is punch straight out. So as you get that band away from the side, it is pulling so hard on this oblique right here. So bringing it in, driving straight out, and then you can add the twist. So in, out, twist. What you don't want is to come out and twist like this and coming in. Your goal is to keep this in a straight line, going out, one motion, twist, back, in, out, twist, back, in. This is nasty, you're gonna love it, I promise you. So it's a palaf press twist with a twist, all right? So those are the three exercises with that circuit. So we got your uh, split squats, we have your pull-throughs, those banded pull-throughs, and then the palaf press with a twist. Um, the last one that we're gonna do is just calf raises. So being outside, <clears throat> depending on what you have, you have a step or your by banisters, or you can do calf raises on a step and use the actual banisters to help push pressure against your calf. Since I don't, watch this. You're gonna lean at an angle. See how my calves are already stretched out? And you're just gonna push the tree. My feet are digging into the ground. 
and you're using the tree as resistance, you're pushing on it. So 15 calf raises. So you just gotta be creative. So it's just creating that stretch on your calves to make that an actual calf movement. So we're pushing forward, po pointing your toes back and squeezing those calf muscles is how you get a great calf exercise on that. So side jackknives. We're gonna take this right to the mat. And if you don't have a mat, you'll lay on the grass. So side jackknives, <clears throat> you're gonna be laying on your side. So what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna be right on your hip because you're not gonna come up. You wanna have your feet out at a little bit of an angle so you're more onto your butt cheek. So the cheek that's on the ground and you're coming up towards your foot. So breathing out, coming up. If you need to modify it, you can just leave one leg down and come up. If you feel too much strain on your neck, Always support your head. Don't tear on it, but just coming up like that. And then the wonderful word, burpee. So burpees, getting down with it, all the way to the ground and up. There's one burp type of burpee, so twat, feet back, up, jump. One modification is down, Stepping back, stepping in, and up. The next modification would be using an ele something elevated. Obviously, the higher up, the easier. The lower, the harder. So, you know, do what you can, but challenge yourself. You're working out. Unless you want to make it difficult. So the last one's the side jackknife, burpees, and the calf press. So once again, this is a lower body, at home band, resistance band workout. Um, you just wanna make sure that you're feeling that you're not missing the gym. So you're getting a great exercise workout at home, nice home program. You don't feel like you're missing that much. And my name is Brent Casper. I've been doing this for over 17 years. And I just wanna give you some creativity so that way you're not bummed out at home thinking you're gonna get a crappy workout and you can actually get a, you can crush it. You get a great lower body at home band resistance band workout. All right, see you in the next video.